Hey guys, Colorado Camperman Brian here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on changing out your hot water heater anode, which looks like this. So um, all hot water heaters either have a nylon uh, anode or plug or a um, sacrificial one. So this is actually meant to break down because the water heaters, some water heaters are made of steel and without this anode, they will rust out. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So uh, we're going to start out here and then work our way inside. So a couple things that we're going to need is we're going to need a half inch socket set with an extension and then either a metric 27 uh, socket set or uh, one and one sixteenth. This is for a suburban water heater and then obviously we need our new anode which you can get at camping stores or, or online. They're usually, I don't know, probably eight to 15 bucks. But this is the little guy that we're gonna go ahead and replace. So with ours, we have an electric start or a gas. So you do wanna make sure first that it's off. You also wanna have your water be nice and cold because when you pull this plug, water is gonna shoot out and you can burn yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside Make sure our pump is turned off, and then we're gonna come back out here and pull our plug. So like I said, you wanna come on in, and then go ahead and turn your water pump off, and then your water heater should definitely be off, and you need to make sure that it's off for several hours, again, so the water has time to cool. If you have a full water tank, you also may want to go ahead and access your water heater. And if you come around here, you can see there's a shutoff valve to stop water from going to your water heater. This would make sure that no additional water runs from your fresh tank to your water heater. So we should just be draining whatever is left in our water heater. So then uh, now that our pump's turned off and the water heater has been turned off for several hours, we're going to go ahead and loosen up our plug here. You can see water is starting to come out here. Woo! And there we go. Look at that. This probably has a little bit of life left, uh, but you can see the difference between the two anodes. Quite a bit different. So. We could leave this one in there, but since we already have it off, we're going to go ahead and replace it out. The next step, what we're going to do after all this water drains out, is we again purchase this water heater tank rinser. It's this little wand that goes in there, and we're going to rinse out the tank. They're about 10 bucks at the RV store. So after this drains out, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Alrighty, so now that uh, we're done draining here, we're gonna go ahead and take our little wand and clean out our tank. And I can feel that there's sediment in there. And the reason you wanna get that cleaned out is that can actually shorten the life of your water heater. So we're gonna go ahead and take our little wand and turn it on. Just kinda of moving around there. And you can see how milky and dark this is. There's a bunch of little chunks coming out. Just gotta get back in there real good. There's a big one. Woo! I think it's a warm day. Now our wire's running pretty smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and feel in there. I don't feel any other sediment. Here's another quick little rinse. All right, so now that we have our tank all flushed out and cleaned out, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is you do want to have some Teflon thread seal tape. Go ahead and put that around the threads. And all you gotta do is insert your handle back in there and get it tightened up, and we're good. So that's it. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get that tightened up, but thanks for watching here today. 
And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, uh, thanks for checking the video out, and we'll see you later.